Hey, what's going on, dudes? I'm going to uh, do a video here on my Adam RC Sorfish, um setup. And I'm going to go ahead and put the, the maiden flight all together in this one. But I'm going to try to make the this part of it real, real short. Because um, it, it really is pretty simple. This is the um, RTH kit. So that means it comes with the flight controller, um, motors, ESC, servos. All comes pretty much ready to go. Just add your receiver and your camera video transmitter. And um, that's pretty much it. Um, easy setup. I mean, everything is pretty much done for you. Um, as far as the settings and stuff. And I know if you watch some of the other YouTubers, you know, they didn't like the stock default settings. There was issues with them, which I've seen it myself. Um, so what I did, I went with a scratch um, tune on this particular setup and uh, it turned out pretty good the maiden flight of course though is always kind of a little bit squirrely because you're doing auto trim and this plane for sure in, in my opinion the way I have it set up it didn't fly good at all in auto trim it really didn't I mean it flew okay <laughs> but I know it's gonna be much better on the next flight but uh, but anyway this is just mainly with just tune flight I did auto level auto trim no auto tune and it was very short. I was I was actually back in my hometown um, to have some business, and I just I took it with me because I knew I I have a chance to fly real quick <laughs> before I headed back to my new home. But anyway, um, the setup we got the um, shaft system pan and tilt. This has got the um, Fox Shear Cat Three Starlight camera, twelve hundred TVL camera. Love it. Swear by it. Um, run cam thumb pro W wide angle lens V2, I think that's what they called it. And um, of course, the Panda is 360 wide in the eye nav. Um, everything is stock. This is the Adam RC, um, I think it's the 2000 KB motors, uh, 2306 2000 KB motors with a seven inch prop. Why would it not work right? There's the zoom on it. Uh, let me see. But that's the motors on it. Uh, ESCs, I have no clue, to be honest. I didn't even look to see what it came with, but it's the stock ESCs. Um, we have Crossfire in the wing. I have the actual Crossfire, Crossfire Nano Receiver um, bared into the wing, and we're using the Emoto T antenna. I'll do a screenshot or something to see how... See, I got that wired up and everything going into the plane, so you can see the underside of it. And up here, um, the GPS originally comes back here in the back, and the USB connector for the flight controller is actually in the bottom. I didn't like that. So <laughs> I took the opportunity to take the little phone piece they sent in here, and I kind of made it into a little hatch here. I'll show you guys how this works. It just kind of pops up. Here's a little piece of tape up here. There we go. So now I can, if I need to do any kind of tuning to the flight controller or anything like that, it's just plug it in up top. I don't have to turn the plane upside down. You know, take the chance messing up the fins or anything like that. So GPS here, covered up, works fine. Um, pretty much we're getting up to max satellites with this. So, yep. And that rides just like that. This here is my little custom air scoop, I guess we'll call it, <laughs> for the um, AKK Infinite DVR uh, slash video transmitter all in one setup. And y'all know, call it Mad Mushroom. Yeah, Mad Mushroom Video Average Systems. And that's pretty much all for this setup. Um, I mean, I would show you guys the inside of it, but, I mean, they all look the same <laughs> for the most part. Uh, Flight-wise, go, I did use a uh, 4S1P 18650s, 3500 milliamp pack. Y'all forgive me, I do not have a scale with me yet still, so I cannot tell you the all the weight of this plane. But it flew very, very light, for sure, very lightweight. I will get a scale soon. But, um... It was easy getting the CZ, the battery place was probably about middle ways of the compartment. And it, it flew good. I mean, it flew well, it handled fine. The efficiency on the setup is very, very good. 
Um, I did not use, um, I think it's Andrew Newton that had the calibrated settings. I wanted to do it myself. I, was going, I got an amp meter coming, and I was going to calibrate it based off of what my amp meter shows me and stuff. And then I was going to, you know, reset it and stuff. But either way it goes, it got the default um, amp settings in it so it's it's showing a little bit lower than what it's actually running i probably would say five amps solid cruising something like that at points but anyway it's it's the the motors for this setup is actually overkill <laughs> to some extent it's a lot of throttle on tap but you don't have to fly at that throttle though the plane flies good at 25 miles per hour but it'll cruise real good at, at, at 40 45. i like it this is a very unique model that's why i bought it it's really like a glider a new age glider i would have to say um with the, the wingspan and how sleek and slim the wingspan is on it i mean it's, it's really nice it is slick in the air it really really is i love the way that it handled and that it felt and i cannot wait to the next flight to be able to you know see how it flies with auto tune set up correctly auto levels done and everything i'm sure it's going to be very streamlined and um I hope you guys uh, stay tuned to be able to see that. Anyway, peace and love, y'all. I'm out.